crazy thing with uh, professional fighters, right? They're, they might be professional fighters because they get paid to fight. And that's, that's the definition of being a professional in anything. Mm-hmm. As long as you're getting paid you're, for, for whatever it is that you're doing, you're a pro, right? Right, right. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you're actually good at um, doing certain things like within your, within your, uh, that's required of you to do within your sport. Because I was like, a lot of these guys, they, they, they don't periodize properly their training, you know, like they don't stay in shape. They don't, it, it's a little bit harder for a fighter because, you know, like for, for sports like basketball, there's seasons, right? There's, there's the season, there's the off season. So they know when they can train hard, put on mask and all that for a fighter though, it's kind of like, well, they have a contract and let's say it's uh, something like a uh, four fight contract. They might have one or two fights a year, but they don't really know when it's going to happen. So for them, it's a little bit more complicated. So ideally, they should actually stay in shape and, and keep on like uh, developing skill, going to the gym and training and all that. And after that, when they have their fight announced, you know, so then they have their three months. Now it's time to, uh, but a lot of them don't do it properly, you know. And my, my, um, my osteopath, who's also a, a athletic therapist and who's worked with, uh, you know, like rest, the Canadian wrestling team, and Canadian whole bunch of other teams, you know, she was saying that like a lot of fighters, even boxers, they're, they're so ghetto when it comes to training properly, you know, and staying in shape and periodizing their training so that, that when they get to competition, they're in, they're at their best. Like they're, they're so, especially fighters, they're so like old school about it. You know, they don't, uh, they just, they just kind of do uh, things like the wrong way just because it's always been done that way. It's, mm-hmm. it's the funniest thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, well, I, I'd agree for sure. Um, and, and heck, and sometimes they do it the wrong way, even when they're trying to do it the right way. Like myself, like I'm trying, I was trying to do it the right way. And then I'm just like, Oh man, I, I probably should have learned a little bit more about this whole nutrition thing before I, uh, you know, dove head first into you know trying to start up my professional fight career and all that stuff but well that's you know you learn as you go yeah exactly and there's so there's so many things to to uh to learn and to to master right i mean it and it depends on who you have access to and uh your entourage and all that because if you're like what as martial artists and as fighters right they we tend to just focus on the training on fighting but in everything else like we kind of laugh you know, we not sure what to do, or we, we don't really take the time to figure it out. And then we just rely on, you know, our coaches who might not know all that much. And they might just be like, well, just, uh, listen, man, we're just gonna, we're just gonna put you in a sauna and <laughs> garbage bag, skip some rope. And, uh, there you go. Pounds, we do that in a week, man. No problem, man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> in a week, yeah.